The media spectacle that's gone on here at B.C. Supreme Court for the past three days is coming to a close. The bail hearing for Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou has wrapped up and she's been granted bail at a cost of $10 million. Seven million of that must be cash. The remaining three million can be split among five sureties in the form of home equity. The judge spent an hour this afternoon giving his final remarks. He said he considered the fact that Meng is an educated businesswoman with no criminal record. As part of her bail conditions, she'll be required to wear a GPS ankle bracelet and be monitored by a three-person security detail at all times. She'll have to stay inside her home on Vancouver's west side between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., and she's restricted from traveling in certain areas outside of Vancouver and Richmond. During Monday's hearing, the judge was concerned of Mung's husband being the only surety of her bail because he is not a B.C. resident. In court today, the defense announced four new sources of bail money, all friends of Mung's and all Vancouver residents. It was enough to have the judge decide in favour of granting Mung's release from police custody. This could just be the beginning of Mung's legal battles. It's believed within the next two months the U.S. will file a request to have her extradited there to face charges of defrauding banks in order to do business with telecom companies in Iran, a country the U.S. has trade sanctions with. If convicted, she could spend upwards of 30 years behind bars. Mung maintains her innocence and says she will fight the accusations in U.S. court if she is extradited. We heard in court today that all she wants to do is spend time with her husband and daughter and read a book. And it seems for now she'll get the chance to do that. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.